Good morning, folks, and welcome again to the sunny French Riviera. Today we are the San Rafael Valesco railway station. You might remember some earlier troop report departing from that station. It's indeed my early spot and where part of my family lives. This place will always mean a good time to me. In addition, SNCF has recently refurbished the main hall of the San Rafael Valesco station and honestly, it looks really good. But for now, let us go back to our trip. Today, we are traveling about TER service, regional train of SNCF, French National Highway, toward the famous city of Nice. Our ride today will last 1 hour and 23 minutes for 65 km, which is about 40 miles. But this ride is known to be famous for its scenery, especially along the, as I said, the Mediterranean coastline. I rode this line so many times when I was a child, and I had wanted to do that video for a while. Our train will arrive on the platform 1. Platform is located on the other side. Please keep in mind that train run on the left hand side in France. Well, I guess I will have to take the stairs. So our train today will run on the famous Marseille to Ventimiglia in Italy line. It was built by the PLM and was opened between 1858 and 1872. The PLM Parignon Marseille Mediterranée was a private railway company before nationalization in 19. 38. It serves all the French Southeast and all the Alps as well. And PLM was a pioneer in many ways for the railway industry, for example in electrification and so on. It had a huge and extensive network before its, its absorption and the creation of the SNCF in 1938. Ah, this is weird. That's something that bothers me with SNCF. Like, come on, what will the customer will think of that? It's actually pretty sad and not really respectful for the customer. Here's our right is already coming. For that trip I paid twelve euros and eighty cents, which is roughly fifteen US dollar. Which is honestly a fair price for a one hour and twenty three ride. Our train today will be a Z twenty twenty six five hundred. It's a new MU electrical multiple unit made by Alstom. But please take a look at the second train set. Indeed, this one comes in the Principality of Monaco livery, but it's owned and operated by SNCF. The Marseille to Nice corridor is a heavily used route. It serves many touristic cities along the Côte d'Azur. Most of the train can be crowded, especially during the summertime. My goal here will be to review a seat without bothering any passenger. My first bet was a former first class, where people think it's really a first class, but it's not. However, it was already occupied, so let's try something else. And I found a perfect seat with a window view. Be sure to be on the right hand side on the Eastbourne trip like mine today, and on the left hand side on a westbound trip to see the stunning landscape. As you can see on this map, you want to be on the coastline side for the trip. The city pitch is rather small, but as you can see, we are in a re commuter regional train, so it's totally fine. Only selected seats come with a power outlet. Consequently, you have to run for one. However, the seat comfort is really awesome. Honestly, thumbs up for that because it's a rare thing these days for a regional train. And by the way, did you notice that the seats are exactly the same as the one on board the low cost high speed train we go? Look at that.
and now start our most tonic part, the Massif of Lesterel. We are now in the Bay of Age. Our train will follow very sinuous coastal landscape now on. If you are enjoying this train trip report, please consider subscribing for more every week. And don't forget to hit the notification button to don't miss a new video. By the way, I recently launched my Patreon page, so if you are interested in access a unique and exclusive content and you want to help out the channel, please check out our Patreon page for more. Here are the famous red rock of the Restaurant Massif. They are so typical from that region. Right now, Right now, our train follows an even more sinuous road, 559. As you can see, it's beautiful. And honestly, it's really sad that the train window are really dirty. SNCF offers us some great double-decker train with large but dirty window. And that's a common problem with SNCF trains. I've already pointed out that issue during many past trips. And this is the highlight of, of the trip, the marvelous Anteor Viaduc, a perfect spot known by many rail fans in the area. Here's a video of the Trembleur uh, back in 2017 spotted by my brother uh, Benjamin, who we met on the, on the channel. And check out the Russian LZD sleeping car uh, during a test in 2017. The Anteor Viaduc was built between 1860 and 1862. It is made of nine arches of masonry stone. The bridge measures 123 meters long and almost 30 meters high. And why do I love that region so much? During the always middle winter time, you can be at the beach and see the snowy alp in the background. And you'll see them better later in the video. Like right here as we are approaching of the Bay of Cannes. Code d'Azur definitely remind me a lot of Southern California, with less car, obviously. We are now in Can Boca, a small depot for TER. Here is a brand new Regio de Zen, uh, built by Bombardier, here to replace the Corai push-pull service on the Riviera. And here is this bad boy over there, it's a footage for an upcoming trip report on the channel. From my memory, this depot used to host many overnight trains during the daybreak during summer. For example, Belgium SNCB, Dutch NS, or German DB, or even if an SNCF train was staying there during the day. Well, that was a different period for sure. Here are some pictures. We can see here the, the Elstoral Massif. Now on the landscape will gradually become less wild and picturesque, but more man built. <laughs> As you can see, our train is heading to Nice, not Marseille, obviously. Somebody forgot to reprogram the announcement board. Oh. 
After can, this will be our best spot to watch in the snow in the Alps. It will be just after Antibes. Let's now review our train. So as you can see, the Monaco train set doesn't really change from a regular TR. It is also totally identical to the Eau de France Terrier to Lille that I have reviewed in a previous trip report. The only difference will be an, ex an extra coach. Indeed, each region, so here PACA, can decide which kind of foreign stock they want for the service. So the PACA region chose uh, a four coaches long EMU. And now we have the toilet time. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, the toilet don't lock. Yeah, that's annoying actually. And But surprisingly, for that crowded train, everything was clean and fully functional. That's not the case usually. RTR in PACA are strictly second classes coaches. On the current train back in the, back in the 2000, when the train were ordered, the first class still existed. The red seat section is a souvenir of that time period. And honestly, I'm really glad to see this train crowded. Each person on the train means less car on the road. And that makes me happy. Also, I would like to say something about the staff in existence. I haven't seen any onboard staff during that trip. And that is sad and really frustrating uh, as a paying and ticketed rider that I am. Many may be fair dodger. And it raises a safety concern as well. There is no conductor to supervise anything. But we arrived perfectly on time in Nice, and that was an overall pleasant trip. A great value trip, quick and beautiful. But please, essentially, do something about your conductor. On some line, we never saw them, especially the Marseille to Nice one. Also, I would love to enjoy the scenery through clean windows. Every passenger deserves to enjoy the beauty from the train. And please don't forget to follow us on social media for more. Oh man, I love that Monaco library. It's beautiful. So what I love about that trip is the awesome scenery of the Massey of Les Dorel, the San Rafael station and the good value of the trip. What I dislike, where there is room for improvement, is the dirtiness of the window and there is no staff on board. All right, guys, I hope you like this new video. Uh, that was the first time for me to do a vocal trip report. Please let me know in the comment your thought, what I can improve, and if you liked it. If you like that new format of video, please um, go vote in a poll on YouTube, and maybe I will uh, switch to the new type of trip report. The main reason why I haven't done that earlier, it was because uh, of my English. As you might heard, I'm not a native English, a native speaker English, so some people can have trouble to understand me. But now I'm, f I'm feeling more comfortable to do it. So please let me know your thoughts and we will see.